okay? You, everybody got it very quickly, right? You simply plug in to this equation, mass over volume. 5.69 times, times 10 to the 26th kilograms divided by 8.01 times 10 to the 23rd cubic meters equals 710 kilograms per cubic meter. Easy? Okay, now, two things. Density problems are generally very easy. They're not hard. What's hard is this. You have cubic meters and kilograms instead of cubic centimeters and grams. So that's a little bit different from chemistry. So the unit labels are going to be a little bit more of a challenge. The second thing that's a little bit more of a challenge, that you're going to have a lot of scientific notation when you talk about, when you talk about masses and densities. For instance, there was a problem that I did on one of the lecture uh, videos, and it said, let me just read this, and I'm trying to make a point. While doing dishes, Zvi drops his 3 times 10 to the negative 3 kilogram platinum wedding band into dishwater, displacing 1.4 times 10 to the negative 7th cubic meters. So right there you have a small mass, 3 times 10 to the negative 3 kilograms, and 1.4 times 10 to the negative 7th cubic meters. So you're going to be using a lot of scientific notation. So if you can get this using your calculator, you're going to be very good. Clear? Understood? Now, this is the rule. Are you ready? Rule in, in fluid mechanics, fluid statics. Low density floats on high density. Low density floats on high density. That's a row. It means density. Low density floats on high density. So Saturn has a density of 710 kilograms per cubic meter. The density of water is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Excuse me? It's going to float. This is less dense than this. So that will be, de that will be Saturn. That will be the water. Saturn is actually called, they are a group of planets, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, they're called the gas planets. So they're generally less dense than the inner planets, the Mars, Earth, Venus, and Mercury. They're the rock planets. Okay? Clear?